Hey everybody, we're back. Part 3 of my Super Castlevania 4 walkthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying Oktoberfest so far. I'm enjoying it. Right now we're at Dracula's doorstep. This is leading to his castle. There's no boss or anything at the end of this stage. It's just a ridiculously low timer. Like they give you a little bit of time to get to the castle. Which shouldn't be an issue as long as we don't have any problems with the harpies. There's a bunch of harpies on this part. Once we get in that castle, I stated earlier, it's going to be tough. And I'm having an issue with harpies like I thought. It's funny. The game gets harder once you get in the castle. But the music also gets better. <laughs> So you're going to hear some really good tunes from here on out. I think that's the butter knife. Yes, it is. I really don't have time to do this. Come on. All right, we're almost there. Don't worry, Dracula. I'm right here. All right, the time is still going. I forgot about this part right here. We're really close now. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if those are like fallen Belmonts. They got whips and stuff. Or did Dracula's minions try to copy Simon? They got tired of getting their ass whipped so much, they decided to uh, pick up a whip themselves. Here we are, guys. That statue right there looks like Sypha, Trevor's wife. Okay, never mind, it's two statues. Oh, my time's running out. Here we are. This is it. The end. The beginning of the end. We're inside of Castlevania now. Stuff is about to go down. I think this stage is called the main hall because we just entered the castle. I'm expecting to die a bunch now from here on out. Gonna try to keep it pro. That dog's gonna keep running. Oh, there's two dogs. That's just great. Darn it. I'm in trouble already. We just started. Get down there. I could have just did this in the first place. Darn it. I am getting whooped. Now this part right here creeps me out because there's a lot of ghouls and a lot of ghosts on this part. Huh, ghouls and ghosts. Have you guys ever played that game? You wanna talk about a challenge? All right. We're all good now. I like this, this music too. Oh boy. I had many, many <laughs> terrible adventures with these jumps before. Well, it's pretty easy now. Just gotta time it. What I like to do is I like to wait for it to slow down just a little bit before I start jumping. I don't wanna jump now. If you die here too, you have to start the whole map over. So I'll at least want to get past this part. I don't know if Simon is screaming for some chicken right now. I think this is the last one. All right, we did it. No problem. There's another secret area on here too. I don't know where it is exactly. Is it? 
Maybe it's this one. Maybe when that drops down. Finally, after about 20 minutes, I found it. Oh man, that's what I needed. I don't remember that though. I don't remember the guy with his ghost dog. Luckily, I got that health when I did. Oh man, I feel bad for killing your dog, but he kept biting me. Any more meat down here? Oh, oh, come on. That was dirty. So I have a theory about this part right here. You see all those best men and probably grooms running around. I think that there was some kind of wedding going on. And I think that because Dracula was so salty that Elizabeth and Lisa pretty much been taken away from him because this is after the fact, by the way, as far as the lore goes, he probably made it so that nobody can get married. He's like, if I can't have my woman, then nobody's getting married. No, that's pretty sick. Shoot, he probably had it where they could have their wedding inside of the castle. <laughs> now you got a bunch of spirits running around. Probably don't know they're dead. I know that's a crazy theory, but you'll see what I mean when you see the boss that I have to fight later. I need some wall chicken. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you, secret admirer. I don't know any other way to do that besides getting grabbed by these hands right here. Alright, we're almost to the boss now. We got a couple annoying parts coming up. You'll see them in a second. I need to try my best not to take any damage. The boss here isn't a joke at all. All right, here we go. So a lot of hunted things will start moving. You've seen the coffins, you're gonna see tables. So I'm hitting them now. Yeah, see, somebody had a celebration here. It sucks it takes so many hits to kill those things. Leave me alone. That's pretty much it. I'm dead here. Wait, what's that? Oh, much needed. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna have to pull this one out of my butt for real. So here's the bride and groom. They just wanted to have a wedding. And Dracula screwed it up. <laughs> I knew I was gonna die. Oh my goodness, finally. Hey, I just noticed that uh, only the groom died, so the girl got away. The girl ghost. Who cares? I was tired of him. <laughs> Took me like three tries to kill him. This is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. This is the library. I don't know what it is about 
like old school horror, but a lot of people seem to think that libraries are scary. I believe there was a lot of uh, Frankenstein. Oh man, that guy, I didn't know he can reach up and hit like that. That's crazy. Whoa, and he's a tank too. I guess when you think about it, libraries are scary because there's a lot of history. Then you got a lot of books that have spells and things like that. A lot of things are associated with libraries. If you think about Ghostbusters 1, it started off in a library. last stage was a disaster. I'm gonna try my best to uh, not die on this one. I want to get through it. Pretty frustrating. Maybe I can hold on to this boomerang. As you can see, all of the enemies here from here on out are, are pretty tough. They're tanks. All right, here comes the fun part. Try to get down to the bottom without taking, darn it. Yep, I'm, pr I'm probably dead. Yeah. There's an easy way to do that. There's an easy way to do this. I'm just gonna tr go for it. All right, I think we got it. All right, we did it. So this part right here is going to be a series of jumps. These moving books. I don't know why Simon would trust to jump on these things anyway. It becomes a very annoying part. Yep, the books start moving a lot faster. And then you got the red skeleton. Who every time you knock him down, he gets back up stronger. Oh. Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Now these paintings used to trip me out. Okay, I already killed that one. Yeah, they actually come alive and grab you. And this is the first, like, little, see this? Uh, hold on a second. There's a little dog thing. I don't know if it's a dog or not, but it knocks down the candles. Ah, oh, he's gone. Yeah, some of the candles have important sub weapons in them. And a the little. <sighs> I thought I was so dead. 
See, watch this. Oh, I killed the paint. I wanted to grab me so I can show you guys what it does. I don't think there's anything important up here. It'd be nice if I got a boomerang, though. Yeah, wishful thinking. And then I took damage. No, the chicken! I needed that chicken. I don't even mess with him. Every time I see that centipede, I just run. I don't even know if you can kill it anyway. Grab me. See, it's got me. That's all it does? I thought it sent like little enemies after you. You have to crouch walk here or them spikes is gonna give you a haircut. to the end I don't know if you noticed but these maps are a lot longer now that's why on some episodes or sometimes when I do these videos I'm gonna have to do two uploads a day that's the only way I'm gonna finish it I know some of you guys were a little confused of why I put part one and part two out all right we made it all right, we got we got to beat this guy on the first try. Oh my goodness, why did I turn the other way? Here we are again. I just gotta put more trust in my whip. That's all it is to it. Man, that dude took a whipping for real. All right guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. What a long journey. That was terrible. But at least we're almost at the end now. We're going into the dungeon. Stay tuned, guys. Catch you on the next one.